five and six year olds doing that, taking charge. Could have fooled me, man. man. I didn't get stuff done. That is great. It deserved. You know, they're going to work for it. They they went through the proper channels. They're going to get a new playground. Boy, they've earned it. That huh? is great. Good. Yeah. All right, what's coming? A lot of rain in the next couple days. Might be tough on the playground Friday through Saturday, but I'm optimistic for the weekend, Jamie. We have a lot of clearing into Sunday. That'll be the pick day. Before we get there, let me talk about right now. Lots of activity in place on uh, radar. Not only spotty showers and even a storm or two in our area. Watching one warning out to the west. You can see in the latest runs, though, that's starting to pulse down a little bit more. I'm optimistic that the environment that it's heading into will start to uh, diminish any severe weather in place. Mainly strong winds out of that, but it's one we're watching. Got a couple other uh, spotty showers and even a storm popping up right around Dayton. I'll bring this in closer. Columbia about to get uh, poured on for a moment. Elk Ridge up next, and that'll move off to the southeast. Most of us uh, stay dry in between these spotty showers. It'll be a quick hit of rain, but there's plenty more to come. Here's a look at our latest readings. Can you believe we're still 68 degrees after 11 p.m. in late March? I know what happens. But we got close to a record today. We hit 80. The record was 82 within striking distance, falling just short. Let's go through Futurecast. Not doing a great job with the showers in place, but what it does bring back early Friday morning, this particular model, is a lot of activity to start the day. Winds out of the north will cool off fast. Our highest temperature going to be recorded here in the next 45 minutes, and then we get cooler from here. A break from the rain midday. There will be some dry time, but know that these showers stick with us through a good portion of Friday and even spilling over into Saturday. We'll likely get a quick hit of rain in the morning. A more robust hit of rain through the middle part of the day. Rust on the eastern shore coming a little bit later, but wet across the board here as we go bigger picture. Sunday dries out. Look at the clear skies in place. Winds are back out of the south. Everything looking much better for the second half of the weekend. As we stay clear and get some sunshine back into the mix, that'll put us back into the mid 60s. As far as totals are concerned, when it's all said and done, we're likely going to pick up three quarters near an inch of rain. If not over that, you get under one of these heavier thunder showers. Boy, these numbers go up quick. So rain going to be in place the next couple of days. 50 degrees tonight. Rain uh, continues. Winds out of the southwest at about 13 miles per hour. Over the next uh, three days, it's just headed to the weekend. Temperatures drop Friday. That's 63 happening here soon. And then it's mid 60s through Saturday into Sunday. Mainly sunny for the second half of the weekend. So if rain spoils your plan, Sunday's guaranteed dry time. I do think Saturday you can get away with some outdoor plans by the afternoon. Mid 50s back on Monday. Clouds build back in. Rain chances return Tuesday. Highs in the mid 50s to near 60 by Thursday under partly cloudy skies. Overall cooler next week, but a lot more dry for sure. Jamie. Okay, Chris, I'm devastated over this.